Yeah, hi YouTube. Uh, the reason why I always keep my camera pointed at certain things when I do a video is because, well, once it is focused, it will not focus again, so <laughs> I always have to do this right at the beginning. Yeah, today I want to lose a few words about a comfortable way uh, of, well, connecting your own microcontroller circuits to USB in a comfortable way so say that it is not uh, too much trouble uh, to do and for this I have this project of mine which is uh, I have made a video about this uh, already sooner because it is finished a long time it's uh, a noise generator which as you can see here has a USB port um, so obviously that's a USB device Let's, first, let's see what's happened if I plug it into the computer. What you can see here is the system log of my machine. So, if you plug something into the USB bus, it will show up. So, and that's what we do. Always this one hand problem. <laughs> let's do it this way so you can see that something something is happening here. It's bus powered. Oh. Okay, let's do it this way. So now it's powered up, and the device showed up. You see, this is found a new USB uh, full speed device, and it's my noise generator. And I, this is my, those are my uh, three digit initials, and yeah, this is the product it now registered. And having this now you can use the device let's simply demonstrate this um, can type fast with one hand um, this can rend so right let's roll a dice shall we here's the device Oh no, yeah, it says execution cancel. I shouldn't say that. Well, that's another topic, but uh, after all, the red uh, LED will link up as soon as I read something from the device right now. And I roll the dice. Let's do this with dots. So, this is uh, what the output from the generator looks like, and it, all, it re reads almost constantly. No. So, uh, what I really wanted to show you is the device I use for this. Uh, this is another circuit. It's not that one, but it uses the same device. It's this FT232 device, which is this device. Well, uh, basically, what it is, it is a UART to USB bridge. So, from a microcontroller standpoint, you only have to use a UART, right? So, this is considerably easy to uh, easy to do. And I have a Windows running here. Yeah, shame on me, I know, but I just wanted to show you the. GUI that makes it possible to program the EEPROM that is contained on the device. <laughs> uh, this is that one. You need to reconnect the device one time so it can be connected to the virtual machine. Oh, come on. That's the hole here. Mm. So, let's scan for devices. Invalid handle. Huh. Open it up again. Uh, scan. Yeah, now it, it's found. Let's read and parse. So it will read all the configuration contained on the uh, current device. Which, ah, as you can see, 
this is my device so you can set up a lot of things here that has a lot of bus pins so you can configure all this you can say if it is bus powered or if it is self powered how many milliamps it will draw from the bus you even, con you even can configure the serial number manufacturer and all this is getting stored on the EEPROM contained on the chip and this is very comfortable considering uh, because uh, there were older versions of the chip which were well, pretty complicated to handle had a lot more, more uh, external circuitry like the EEPROM was external and it also needed an oscillator circuit well the FT232, FTDI, FT232 this is what the video is all about um, it needs well almost none external circuitry it needs a few caps that's all a few caps, that's it. So the rest you can, mm, a few bus lines, and you can connect it directly to the USB, and that's what I always use. There is a programming library for Linux, uh, which is called libftdi. Uh, it can be used to write client programs like the one I showed you here. Uh, that just retrieves the data from the device, and it basically it's handled like a, a, an ordinary serial device, like a uh, such an RS-232 device, but running on USB. So, that's it, and, well, if you have further questions about the device, then, yeah, you can let me know, and I'll try to give you a, an answer. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.